Good morning. This is Debbie with the Food Prepping Channel. And today I'm going to try a recipe that I saw on Facebook and looked pretty good to me. So I'm going to give this a try. It's baked chicken and dumpling casserole. And what I've got in this pan is I've got six boneless, skinless chicken thighs in here. If I had already thawed these out when I decided to fix this, I wish I'd have had the um, the bone in and the skin on because I need some chicken broth and it's, I mean, I'm still going to get chicken broth, but um, it's not going to be as as flavorful as if I had if I had the bone in and the skin on. But anyway, I've got this on my new wave induction cooktop. I've got it on sear. I'm bringing this to a boil. I've got about this much water in here. And I'm going to put in one teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper in this. I've got a half a stick of margarine already in here with the water. I'm going to put in one teaspoon of coarse ground black pepper and one teaspoon of kosher salt. And I'm just going to bring this up to a boil and I'm going to let it boil simmer for probably about an hour because I want that chicken broth to be have the best flavor possible. So, I will bring you back when this gets done, and we'll go from there. Okay, I'm back. My grandson, Caden, is here, so if you hear him talking in the background, that's, you know why. Alright, now, the next thing I've done is I have, I cooked these, um, chicken thighs. I boiled them for about an hour with a half a stick of margarine and salt and pepper and um that's, that was it that's it all right and so now i'm gonna put i've got hold on i'll bring you right back okay i'm back <laughs> to try to get him quiet he's right here beside me all right i've got a half a stick of margarine that i melted and i've got a 13 and a half by nine and a half glass pan back here and I'm going to pour that margarine in the bottom of the pan of the the pan and I'm just going to move it all around and then I'm going to put my chicken and I'll show you this as as I do it I, I hope you can see I'm not sure but I'm putting all the chicken thighs in here in this pan in the bottom and I'm going to spread it around with my spoon and I'm excited about this because this is going to be I think it's going to be so good alright and the next thing I'm going to do is the recipe calls for um self-rising flour and I didn't have any but there's a way that you can make your own self-rising flour so that's what I'm going to do I've got one cup of all-purpose flour here and I'm going to put that in here and then I need baking powder in the one cup of, of all-purpose flour, I'm going to put in one and a half teaspoons of baking powder. All right. So there's one teaspoon, and there's a half a teaspoon, and then... Yes, and then um, I need a half half of a teaspoon of, of salt oops alright and there's
There's my half a teaspoon of salt. And now to get this, I want I'm gonna take my whisk and I'm gonna whisk this all up. Make sure all of this is together. And there's my self-rising, there's my self-rising flour. Cut his sandwich up, please. Oh. <laughs> All right. Vanessa was making him a sandwich. He's already eaten cereal, and he saw Vanessa eating a sandwich, so naturally he wanted one. So she made him a sandwich while I was doing this. Come on, baby. You didn't want it cut? Can I talk to you? Come on, Okay, now I've got this all mixed up. So that's one cup of self-rising flour. And now I'm going to mix one cup of cold milk in here. And then I'm going to mix this up. All right, so I'm mixing all this up. The one cup of self-rising flour and the one cup of milk. And now I'm gonna get this down here. Let me make sure you can see this. Yes, you can. And I'm still mixing this flour and milk up, making sure it's all All right, and now I'm gonna take this and I'm just gonna pour it all over the chicken. This is all mixed up. And I'm gonna take pour it all over the chicken using every bit of it. going to use this bowl for the second part to this. Alright, the next thing that I, it says not to mess with the chicken, just, but I want to make sure that this is kind of even around on here. I'm not really messing with the chicken, I'm just kind of moving it around. Alright, the next thing that I've got to put on here is I've got two cups of my broth from the chicken and I'm gonna put that in this bowl and then I've got one can this is healthy request cream of chicken and I'm gonna put that right here in this bowl And now I'm going to mix this all up together. I think I'm going to use my my whisk for this too. I'm going to mix this chicken broth and this cream of chicken soup up and get it all mixed up together. And then I'm going to pour this over top of this. And I, all this time I've had my oven preheating to 400. All right, now I'm going to pour this over this. All right, and there it is. We're going to see how this turns out. It's just a recipe that I saw on Facebook, and I want to try it out. And I'm going to put it in my oven for 35 to 45 minutes. It's going on 400 
for 35 to 45 minutes and once it gets golden brown on the top then I will bring you back and we'll see what it's like okay here's the finished dish I've just taken it out of the oven it cooked for about 50 minutes and now I've got to let it sit for about 10 minutes and but you can see it looks so good so I'll bring you back when I uh, get ready to eat some okay here's my plate I've got my chicken and dumpling casserole right here I've got tomatoes and cucumbers and I've got fresh corn on the cob that I cannot wait to eat either besides this chicken and dumplings all right we're gonna see what this tastes like I cannot wait to taste this it smells so good it looks so good mmm oh my gosh that really is like chicken and dumplings. That is unbelievable. Mmm. It's just... Oh, that is that is so good. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Just like chicken and dumplings, but with a, a whole layer of the dumplings. Mmm. Mmm. Um, Mm -mm -mm. All right, I hope you like this recipe because I'm telling you, this will be one. I don't fix too many of the recipes that I fix again because I usually try to always fix something for different for y'all. But for my family, this will be one that I will fix again. This was delicious. And don't forget my tip on how to, um, how to use, um, your flour and make it into self-rising flour. Your, um, AP flour, excuse me, I'm, my mouth was full, um, your AP flour into self-rising flour. And, um, I had another tip for you, too. Oh, on the news this morning and you know I've never thought about this and I do want to tell y'all about this when I cut a cucumber or I cut something that I'm going to use the outside of it I'm going to cut the outside of it off I don't usually wash it and if I don't wash it then and then peel it that's just going to get this whatever's on the outside back in the inside and I have never thought of that before so on my cucumbers I wash them before I peel them um, of course I always wash tomatoes but anyway my grandson is just having a really hard time staying quiet today so I'm gonna get off of here if you like this recipe give me a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and you have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later. Bye.